So what I've noticed with the the sprouts too is like even on these larger fields, there's no reason like I know everybody like spazzes out and we run back and forth across the whole field. But if you've ever noticed that when you're running from one side of the field to the other or you run like this, Hey guys and welcome back to the Bee Swarm Simulator with me Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you really liked the episode, tell a friend. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Hopefully everybody got everything they wanted today. Uh, hopefully you're having a fantastic day. In the last episode, we got the festive, festive bee and the festive bee's ability. Its abilities are really good, but we needed it to be uh gifted so we can start handing out the festive gifts because the festive gifts apparently everybody on your server gets the gifts if you get a gift so that's pretty cool um who knows what the gifts are gonna give but uh i did end up purchasing the winter wonderland pack uh, just because i want a gifted bee another one <laughs> so we got a star treat from it, uh, from the Winter Wonderland pack, a bunch of other stuff like enzymes, e blue extract, uh, stingers, I believe, and a bunch of tickets. So now we can actually buy two star treats instead of one. But either way, uh, we are gonna make the gifted bee, or the festive bee here, level six now, uh, gifted. So let's take a look. Uh, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. All right, there we go. Festa bee, a jolly bee who loves gifts. It's purely motivated. So it goes from a green hat or a green top to a red, uh, white top there. Okay, cool, cool. So let's go find it. Let's get it to uh, pop out a present for us. So we can, uh, I think Jason. I don't think there's too many people on our server. Yeah, Jason Gaming one-on-one -on -one can also receive gifts. Uh, okay, where's all our bees? Oh yeah, I can't. Place a sprinkler. So we are getting closer and closer to the red polder or the red shoulders, which I really want. Um, they're going to help us out a big time. Uh, all right, where is our festive bee? All right, here we go. There we go, festive bee gift uh, received blueberries times four festive gift. Not, oh wow, and then, did it drop stuff on the ground there? Oh, uh, we're gonna have to take a look at that. Festive gift received, uh, does it say whether or not we fetch, fetch, fetch? It doesn't tell us what we got there, unfortunately, so. We'll have to look at another one, because I, I wasn't watching the ground. But I think, or maybe you guys can see it in the recording. Unfortunately, I was just, just wasn't watching there. But yeah, uh, possibly it dropped those royal jellies and uh, something else on the ground. But yeah, we'll keep a lookout for it. But the token looks like a, what is it? It's a red token with, uh, what is it? The Bemis Bear on it. Uh, doesn't seem to spawn or come into the game all that often. But yeah, we'll uh, try and get another one here. So we received 59,000 honey, four blueberries, four strawberries, treats, and something else. But yeah, it gives an initial 
drop of a little bit of a present and then a bunch of other ones or a bunch of things drop out around the gift so it was kind of hard it just popped in out of nowhere uh i've been uh spawning in some ooh, right at right at night time been spawning in some uh sprouts here for the guys on the server just so that we can all get a bunch of tokens um i'm not 100 percent sure what we've been collecting i've done i think about seven seven or six or seven sprouts and i haven't checked my inventory really so let's see did we get anything amazing we got nothing other than the typical and unfortunately because it's nighttime it's just all moon charms right there's a chance of not getting a moon sprout but don't know how badly we really need the, the moon charms at the moment. Uh, we are going to need them in the future because we do need... I know there's glitter is a big thing later on. So, more or less, I'm just hoarding all of the moon charms that I can get. Uh, I'd like to get a new, new amulet or try to get a better amulet from, uh, the, um, for, from the moon charms. But it's not a, a must, you know what I mean? So, let's see if we can't... Uh, We'll wait until morning, and we'll spawn in another couple of sprouts, but uh, I do want to wait to see if we can't get another festive gift. I do like the, the festive be gifted bonus. Uh, I think that's really cool that, you know, y you give everybody else gifts, more or less, right? Like, it might not be the whole thing, but even if, you know, somebody just randomly all of a sudden gets like four or five uh, blueberries, and I'm sure it's probably random. Maybe you can get glitter, extract, enzymes. You know, that helps everybody on the server instead of just yourself, right? Which is really awesome. All right, here we go. Let's watch this time. Boom. And okay, and then it generates a circle of items around it. That's cool. So, honey, receive four treats, receive two treats, uh, more honey. Yeah, treats, treats, treats. So, uh, uh, I think the initial honey was right off the bat that we traded with everybody or gave to everybody and then the treats around it are like your gifts but if somebody's close to you they can also purchase, grab those too i'm loving this b i've just spawned in quite a few more uh sprouts for the guys here we're getting you know 86 uh out of 100 as soon as we get to 100 red extract we i do believe we have enough to purchase the uh, the shoulders how many uh, how much straw? How many strawberries do we have? 152. That's for three. It's gonna take us a little bit more time to get there. Uh, we're still doing the quests, so we're getting really close to actually maxing out or finally getting this quest done, the Riley B quest. I'm hoping the quest after it is a little bit easier to do. When uh, I guess when you can't control what you're getting, uh, it's a little bit harder, right? Like if you can say, you know go and farm 2 million, you know, pollen at a field, it's easier, those are easier quests than having to collect, you know, 1,135 ability tokens, which it looks like the haste tokens don't happen, help at all. But that's all right, let's go take a look here. Oh, by the way, you guys, um, if you didn't know, there's a present that's hiding on top of this honeycomb. Uh, I've already grabbed it, but yeah, you, it's sitting right here. And to get it, you just, oops, you go up, jump and yeah you know i messed up there but yeah that's pretty much how you do it you just jump forwards jump back or and then oh i'm so unskilled uncoordinated today oh yeah badly i think it's because all the bees are in my way there we go <laughs> blame it on the bees all right so oh we can get the blue one too all right so i did the quick math here and between the two Pauldron or shoulders. Sorry, I call them pauldrons. Uh, between the two, the only thing they share is the glitter and the stingers, right? So, in total, you need 200 stingers and oh, there's an epic sprout um, and 50 glitter. But since we can purchase the cobalt uh, guards right now, which is 150,000 container space, 30% blue pollen, 5% blue bomb pollen, plus 1B attack power, 10% damage reduction, 16% instant conversion. 50% critical power and haste pulser. We're getting it. We're getting it. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for it. It's like a perfect Christmas gift, right? Boom. Okay. Let's see what we look like. Uh, let's put that away. You know, look a little weird, but hey. So, we did get a thing down here. So, the haste pulser. Every 30th token re uh, releases a blue pulse. Can't read it because it has the sprinkler in the way. Uh, pulse which... 
hops to each bee collecting pollen from around them. Power increases with each hop. Okay. Sounds kind of cool. Um, it sounds like the same thing you get from the cobalt bee. Which, okay. Works for me. So let's find this epic. Where is the epic? Oh, way over. Oh, that's going to be brutal. An epic sprout in the snail field. This should be interesting on whether or not uh, we'll be able to farm it. It looks like one of the guys is actually... No. Nope. Nobody's actually <laughs> collected this. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get all these tokens that it wants us to do. We've got one. That's kind of cool that you don't uh, don't lose those uh, the counts for the tokens after a certain amount of time, right? Or what's going on? Huh. Oh, every... Sorry, every 30th haste token. Well, that's kind of cool still, how it keeps track of it. Um, you know, if you only had like three minutes and then it would start to disappear, that would be disappointing. Just like our, how long we've uh, spent trying to kill our snail here. As you guys can see, this is our snail, the one that's down to 22,000 health. Not the greatest. All right, so I've never actually popped an epic in the snail field, so I'm act I actually do not know what kind of treats will fall. Um, I know, I, like, you know, every field kind of has its own little thing, right? If you have a sprout, the pineapple field, pineapples fall, the strawberry field, strawberries fall, you know, so I don't know what the snail field is actually going to give us, so 23,000 more. And then there is another epic over there, but, uh, CV is collecting from it. Uh, it looks like just a bunch of random stuff, which kind of hurts. It's like, uh... Where's the, you know, this would, this would be the perfect field for like, um, glitter and enzymes and stuff like that to fall. Like more, I guess more commonly, uh, just because of how, how difficult it is to, you know, mine, uh, said sprout, right? So it looks like we got everything from that sprout. Let's see if we can get down to the other one before CB552 uh, mines it the whole way. Now, now we go back to the high speed gathering, right? Um, also, just so you guys know, with the polarons, I did look, or the uh, shoulders, I looked at how much I could carry. It doesn't look like it increased us too much. It did say 150,000 uh, for carrying space, but I think uh, that might have not been much different than what we already had uh, in carrying capacity with the blue shoulders, the other blue shoulders we had. It doesn't seem like, you know, we haven't been upped by like a million or anything like that, so that's all right. Uh, all right. Come on. Uh, what are we gonna get here? Probably a lot of treats, right? It's gonna drop a ton of treats. Possibly. Uh, I still haven't seen another, uh, present yet. But that's because we were in the snail field. Alright, let's go crazy. Let's take everything. So what I've noticed with the, the sprouts too is like, even in these larger fields, there's no reason like, I know everybody like spazzes out and we run back and forth across the whole field. But if you've ever noticed that when you're running from one side of the field to the other, or you run like this, there's a bunch of tokens that drop directly behind you. So you don't have to, more or less you could run around in big circles, right? Although over the whole field, you'll probably find more unique stuff like the enzymes um, and extracts and stuff like that. So, uh, let's get a full bag here. Just because it... Uh, oh, that was instant conversion. Okay, I was thinking, you know, let's see how quickly we empty our backpack. But we could still try and fill it. It's not like we have a ton of, uh... Oh, I guess we should stand out of there. Yeah, chat for some reason is not working properly either, you guys. Uh, did somebody spawn a honey storm? CB... You always want, you always want, no. Actually, CB is really cool. He was the one that gave us the pets for, or the Dominus Huge on uh, Pet Simulator. We're kind of in a, you know, one of the lower fields too. Obviously it takes forever to mine all the pollen from here. I always think that now, like when we first started playing the game, it was like, wow, you know, you'd sit here and you'd have your backpack that held 700 pollen and you're like, you know, rushing back and forth, emptying it like every couple of seconds. You're like, wow, you know, I'm making a lot of money quickly. A gifted, or we've, we've got the, uh, what is it, the festive bee gifted, which is awesome. We know what the, the presents do, now we just have to kind of take a look at what what we're able to get from them. Like, is it random, uh, or are we going to be able to get some of those higher tier items? 
Uh, and then, yeah, we got the new, uh, the blue shoulders, which we weren't actually working towards. We were looking, working towards the red shoulders. Super happy we have them, though. Uh, the red ones will be soon. We're at 87 extract. We have some crafting up right now. Uh, how many strawberries we have? We only have 37 strawberries at the moment. Kind of hurts a little bit, but that is all right with me. Um, we also have enough tickets to purchase another star treat. Uh, I don't know how many gifted bees we have at the moment. We'll just go into the star hall. As soon as we get to 30, we're going to be able to... We're at 29? Oh, hold on. Actually, you know what? We'll leave that for the next episode. But that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.